Adding a little color and shading will help your resume stand out, but customizing your charts will really give your resume that professional look. Uh, I love color. I've been using color on resumes for, you know, the last several years, and I think it really does make them stand out. And contrary to what you may hear, uh, it does not affect the ATS. But what I will say is I'm not an artist, so I used to spend hours trying to figure out what colors would match until I did a training myself and I learned about finding color palettes online. I find that most of the clients that I work with favor blue for color palettes. So I'm going to look up blue color palettes with hex codes. Blue is really popular. Um, everyone knows that blue does symbolize trust. A lot of brands use it. So here are several color palettes blue with hex codes. This is a great one. Um, I've used that myself. Here's another one that has lighter shades. If you want to go darker, you can find something like this. It really is so helpful for someone like me who is not a designer, but wants to be able to up their game on resumes and use color palettes. I want to show you a little bit about how to use color um, in charts and graphs so that you can make everything tie together uh, with your color palette. So these are the hex codes for the colors in the palette that we looked at a little earlier. As you can see, I have changed the hex code numbers into those colors which makes it easy for me to see them and know when I'm changing it. It also means that these are now in my color palette down here. So they're already in Word and I don't have to go in and type the number every time I want to use them. So here's a chart in the default Word colors. It focuses on sales and marketing and advertising. But if you want to make it a little more customized, you can go in and just click on the columns. Once I've clicked on the columns, you see they all change. So I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna go into the fill and I'm gonna change that to the dark blue. So see now they're all dark blue. And now I'm gonna go in and I'm going to change the orange. And I'm gonna go with one of the other blues. You see it kind of coordinates there. I might want to just leave the gray. So now I have a chart with the colors that are going to coordinate with the colors that I'm using on my resume. I will just add one thing about putting charts on resumes. If you do want to use them, you cannot use them in their Excel form. You do need to convert them to an image. So I'm going to hit my print screen here and highlight my chart and to turn that into an image. Okay, so now I have the original chart. You can see if you click on it, everything comes up and I have the image. If you do use an image like this on your resume, make sure to put the content, the numbers that you're illustrating in the chart in the body of your resume. Resume writers like me do this with a bullet or two with all of the numbers in there because the ATS will not read the chart, but it will read the content in the body of your resume. I have copied the image and put it into this resume just so you can see how nicely the colors in the chart will coordinate with the other colors that we've used on the resume. So I want to end here by just showing you a sample of the same resume that is up on my site. As you can see, I've used some advanced techniques to create this little monogram for the website. And you will see down here is a chart that I've used and everything is color coordinated because I used a color palette. Thank you for watching. Follow for more.